Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Last week I went to Boston to visit MIT. MIT will be offering a class in January of 2016, which will teach students how to implement perception and planning algorithms for cars to quickly navigate through complex environments. This is the second year that they're offering the class. One of the changes that's going to be made is that the class itself, along with the hardware and the software for the car, are going to be made open source so that you'll be able to follow along at home. This is a look at last year's car to give you an idea of what the hardware looks like. Looky here. Um, this basically is something that the, the Jetson automatically connects to. So we made it that way. Mm -hmm. So there's um there's like this little thing, I think that one of them is for the router. Okay. And so this one is for Jetson. So if you wanted to power up Jetson directly, this is for the Jetson. That's for the router. So as you're doing this experiment, I think that this just got confused. This also is not something that you need. Um, if you wanted to connect to a serial and debug the Jetson, oh, right. that's yeah. something that you can use. It's serial right. and USB. Uh, so if you wanted to do debugging, yeah, so if you, that, that's the uh, console. Yeah, console thing. You can do right. that as well. Um, so the way it works is that we, you know, as you, you, pop, you can power the Jetson up with this, or we added actually here a battery for Jetson that's unfortunately not here, but it used to sit here. Okay. It was a different battery. I'll, I'll find out what happened to that after we talk today. There's a battery here, and it just connects the Jetson. Mm -hmm. and it just powers the electronics, separate battery. And the car's original battery that's kind of sitting there, you know, it's sitting inside there, is, right. uh, or it's in the car, it's in the original car, it just powers the car. Um, and to enable these two different power things, we have an optocoupler and things like that, like a little circuit here. Okay. You don't necessarily have to do that. I think that this time we're trying to get away from that and just power everything through one source. Um, so this is kind of the whole system. When you power it up, this is a Bluetooth um, controller. It directly connects to the Jetson. So you can actually joystick the Jetson from here without the controllers. The Jetson directly connects to here. All you need to do is to connect with your computer to this very router, and then you connect it to the, to the car. You can SSH in, do a lot of things remotely. Whenever you want to go and do some tests, you just say, you know, disconnect from my car. It disconnects. Then you have this joystick thing. Usually, we joystick it somewhere, and for one of the buttons, we just, you know, you press it, it becomes autonomous, and it just goes. And then you gotcha. can press it back, and you can take control over. That's some software that we already wrote, and we'll improve up on that in the new version. So you, you'll be able to just joystick it like this and, and press it. Usually, when it's parked, we tell people to just kind of plug this in. Um, once you plug the, you know, you usually, you can, okay, so right now it's connected here. Yeah. You see it's connected here, but the battery is empty. So there used to be a battery here. Right. It just, but you know, we basically took like a, like a little battery that, you know, powers up, like you can charge your phone with it and things oh, like that. Oh, okay. So, so took something like pretty that. Pretty small. It is, it is also in the list of documents that. Okay. That, that you have, which I'll print in a, in a second. Um, so this was the version one. Uh, this was the way it would operate. Get a shot of the other side here. So it has... And we could do also this, so let me... Oh, okay. Nice, so that's an IMU. That's this is an IMU. PixHawk. Yeah, PixHawk, visual odometer. Oh. We had the antenna, the new version will not. The, we'll have the antennas on top, and we have the laser scanner here. Laser scanner, and then this was an optocoupler and real-time clock. There's an optocoupler like. and real-time clock, because every time you power up the Jetson, it forgets the clock. They don't have a real-time clock on it. Right. So we had to do that because if you're, like, recording ROS packages, you know, you need to... Um, it gets if, if very you, confused yeah, if you it don't. It's very confused, because you, you don't know when you took the log and things like that. Yeah. Um, but beyond that, it's kind of very simple. Um, 
right underneath. Really all we did is to take like a USB hub. It's sitting right there. You can see that. Oh, so that's a pretty flat one. Yeah, it's a pretty flat USB hub. We basically took that. And every sensor like IMU, PixSog, laser scanner, we have a camera right here. They all connect it to the USB hub. And we take that and connect it to the USB of the Jetson. That's the way it works. And here you have a, um, a real-time clock. And all the electronics are fed by, fed from that one battery. And the car is powered by this battery. So the only custom-built part is the optocoupler, the optocoupler and, and, clock. and it goes into the header. There's some significant changes for the car coming up for next season. So it'll be interesting to see how this design evolves over time. Thanks for watching.